I've spent 20 years studying celiac disease, gut dysbiosis. I've spent a lot of time, a lot of my own free time studying autoimmune disease in general. The education process throughout this is invaluable. And this is something that I can utilize for myself for the rest of my life. Hey everybody, welcome to today's interview. We have Kim who's been dealing with celiac disease for 20 plus years and not only is autoimmunity affecting her, but it's affecting her children. She is at the end of our main program, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. And this is just after two months of working with us. I would love for you guys to see what has happened to not just her celiac, but what's happened to her multiple, many other symptoms related with autoimmunity, including severe pain. Who knew pains associated with celiac disease, right? So I'd love for you to watch it. And here she is. Well, I, my name is Kim Kamick, and I am a mom of three grown up kids. Um, I am an elementary school teacher, um, and I've also suffered with celiac disease for about 20 years. Okay, celiac. A lot of people think it's just a gut issue, with, and only it affects the gut. So you said 20 years you've had celiac. Was it only a gut disease for you? Oh no. Well, with, I mean, obviously with autoimmune disease, you have many more symptoms. So because it's an autoimmune disease, I've dealt with fatigue, migraine headaches, um, joint pain, you name it. It's not been a fun process. So. Well, you also mentioned that this is not only autoimmunity didn't just affect you. How has it impacted upon your family? I was diagnosed with autoimmune disease. And then uh, when my daughter was 15 years old, she got diagnosed with autoimmune disease. Um, my 21 year old got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease a couple of years ago. And my son suffers from depression. So I think so it's impacted all of us. I think what people were not aware of is that autoimmune disease, there is definitely a genetic predisposition but there are also environmental triggers, trauma, infection, and other things that turns this gene on. But yes. clearly there is a genetic component here and it doesn't mean you have celiac and that you only have celiac, which isn't true. We know you have hundreds of other targets, but right. in your children, it will manifest not necessarily as celiac, it can manifest as other symptoms or uh, other autoimmune diseases as well. I also feel like um, their gut bacteria probably isn't the greatest either. And so it, that all plays into it, you know. Tell me your top three biggest symptoms or problems that you felt like you struggled with before you joined the program. I guess it's been a downward kind of cycle. So at the beginning, it was just the celiac and the autoimmune component to it, which was not great in and of itself. But as the years have progressed, it's become kind of a mishmash of all kinds of things. And so I think I would say hormonal imbalance was probably one of the biggest things that I dealt with. Food, I, I just kept losing foods. I have very few foods that I was not having a reaction to. And then um, some major gut dysbiosis. All right, people wanna know. What if you are at the end of our two month program working with us, uh, Transform Autoimmune main program. And my question for you is, inquiry minds wanna know what are your results so far? And you know I tell people that it's the launch pad to a year of autoimmune turnaround. So this is very early, just after two months, what are some of your results? So I think one of the biggest things for me was realizing the impact of my blood sugar. Mm. And I will be, perfectly honest with you that um, because I was I was literally afraid of food I did not like to eat and that had gone on for years and years and years um, and so I had gotten to the point where I was eating I was pushing off eating for a really long time I wouldn't eat my first meal until mid-afternoon and then I wouldn't eat again until you know late evening um, and I and I had no idea the impact that that was having on my health it took me probably four to six weeks of the, pro of the program to figure out how to incorporate eating multiple times a day. That was a real struggle for me, yes. but I can tell you right now, I am noticing that my pain is significantly decreased. That has been a huge win for me. You were just sharing with me before we actually started this. I think this, this process has actually changed your career path for you. I was definitely interested in, I've spent 20 years studying celiac disease, 
gut dysbiosis. I've spent a lot of time, a lot of my own free time studying autoimmune disease in general. And uh, about a year ago, I decided that I wanted to be a naturopathic doctor. So going into this program, and that has honestly been one of my favorite things about how you've gone about bringing all of us power. Like you teach us, along with the other people in the group are allowing us to see their results and we share things. And so um, the education process throughout this is invaluable. And this is something that I can utilize for myself for the rest of my life. I can use this for my kids. I can use this for other people who suffer. So it's really exciting for me to have this kind of knowledge um, that I can share and help other people as well. You know, what's interesting is, is that you're a teacher. So yeah. you understand the value of an educational model, but yet have never... Yes but you've never experienced this type of educational model around your health. Right. That's part of the reason why I get so frustrated with medical professionals in mm. general mm -hmm. is because they say, this is my way of doing it. And this is, this is what you need to do. And if you don't do this, what I'm telling you to do, then, you know, it's on you. And, and that's, it's really frustrating for me because I like to have a reason why we do things. <laughs> and I like, I like to, be able to make an informed decision for myself. Um, and I like to do things that make sense. So this has helped me to, to you know, have all the education that I personally desire um, so that I can make those informed decisions and that I can go forward with confidence in knowing that I can take care of myself. I love that. And I think it's gonna really impact upon you as a naturopathic physician. For sure. You know, when you are able to use the data and you're able to actually now work on teaching your clients and your patients what to do and the what, why behind it. Yeah, what you are doing is just, it's, it's a model that nobody uses, but it makes so much sense because it empowers people to take care of themselves. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I do too. Thank you. It rings, it rings true to me. It rings true. And then final question, okay. who would you recommend this program to? That's an interesting question. I have spent a lot of years not trusting doctors. Mm. I was, I was told nothing is wrong with you. You, all your tests are normal. You need to go see a psychologist. You need to have some, you know, therapy, which may may have been true. I don't know, you know, <laughs> but I got to the point after years and years and years of hearing the same things over and over from doctors, I got to the point where I, I did not trust them. And that started a journey for me that wasn't necessarily bad. Um, you know, I took control of a lot of things and I, and I learned a lot of things along the way. Anybody who, who has been in the, you know, normal medical community who, who has lost faith or lost trust in what they see happening there, you need to come and do this because you can trust this program. You can trust Dr. Maggie and it, it will change your life. Thank you for that. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> you know, I just flabbergasted and, and, and thrilled to pieces to see what this coming year has in store for you. Because although our main Transform Autoimmune program is two months, it is the biggest launch pad ever for a year of turnaround. And I think it will be fascinating to see what this next year has in store for you. I'd love to do a follow-up interview in a year for okay. people to see where's Kim now. Yeah, I'd love it. That'd be great. <laughs> awesome. I can tell you, I will be doing great things. Hmm, you ready are. Yeah. That was an amazing discussion and interview with Kim. I think my greatest takeaway from this is how much her love of learning mirrored her desire to win the, in the fight of her life. And I love the fact that she, as a teacher, really embraces an educational model as part of her life, but now she's applying it, an educational model to her health. And I love the fact that she's now um, going to be training to become a naturopathic physician as well. So she's going to be the next mover and shaker movement to actually apply a natural or functional medicine approach towards the treatment of complex diseases like autoimmunity. So I love that this has changed the course of her career as well. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you found like you learned a lot from this interview, 
please go ahead and click like on this video. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Instagram, make sure that uh, you subscribe to the channel, um, ring the bell on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you have not joined our group, join our group Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally, where I am live on a regular basis uh, with our autoimmune table talk, and we have interviews with ass kickers just like Kim every single week. Awesome, have a great day, everyone. Oh, 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 o